Hi everyone, welcome to today's Loop and Learn presentation covering Night Scout Basics. What is it? Why do I need it? And most importantly, how do I get it? My name is Sarah Goya and I'm one of the Loop and Learn admins. I have been using a DIY system since 2016 and have been looping for the past three years. For this next series of videos, we will be discussing Night Scout. Night Scout is the best resource available for analyzing your diabetes data. This is not just a resource for loopers, but all people with diabetes. Using Night Scout, users, caregivers, and medical professionals can easily look at and examine all entered diabetes data in one place. So, what exactly is Night Scout? Night Scout is essentially a multi purpose diabetes management tool. It is used by people with diabetes, parents, and caregivers to visualize, store, and share data from their CGM sensors in real time. Pairing it with Loop, Night Scout allows one to view the CGM graph and treatment data together using a web browser connected to the internet from any location. Let's dive in here. Night Scout is made up of three separate components. First is the dashboard, which is the entire screen you see here. It includes the instrument panel and graphs. There is a lot of information on this screen, which at first might feel quite overwhelming, but all of the information is important and you will get familiar with it over time. When I first set up my site, I spent a lot of time clicking and hovering my cursor around the screen to see what next cool feature I could find. The second piece of Night Scout is the database which stores your data like your blood glucose values, treatments, overrides, exercise, etc. The database displays your uploaded information so that multiple people or caregivers can view and update that information on the web. The third piece is the care portal, which is an area of Night Scout where you can manually enter various activities like meal descriptions or notes, exercise, temp targets, and low corrections. After entering, this data can be seen immediately. Loop updates a lot of what is found in the care portal automatically, so you might not need to use the care portal. However, if you're not looping, this tool is invaluable. So why use Night Scout? Well, as I said before, Night Scout is the best tool for consolidating your data, which includes insulin delivery, blood glucose readings, carbs, activity, and more. With all of this information at your fingertips, it is much easier to analyze your settings and prepare your information for your medical team. Successful loopers use Night Scout to guide setting adjustments. Most mentors are more willing to assist you if you have a Night Scout site, since they can easily see the bigger picture of what is actually going on. As long as your settings are in the ballpark, you can generally use Night Scout to quickly and efficiently analyze and adjust your settings while remaining in a closed loop. Of course, if your settings are widely inaccurate, opening loop might still be necessary, but in general, with Night Scout, it can be avoided. So, please be kind to your mentors and, well, yourself, and use Night Scout. The instrument panel, or top of the dashboard, contains lots of information. We'll go into what is found here more in depth in our next presentation. Here you'll see the clock. Under the clock are various small boxes with information, called pills. Let's go from left to right. The first pill shows the minute since the last loop connection, then the phone battery charge, pump reservoir, the amount of time since the last loop ran, Oh, and if you run your cursor over this, you'll be able to see the loop's current predictions. 58% here is the current database size. Keep an eye on this number. As it gets above 70%, your site can start having issues. We will discuss what to do to fix this in a future video. Under the pills on the left is the time bar, and you can click on any of these to change your graph view. Over on the right hand side, you'll see the most current CGM reading. Depending on your setting, this blood glucose level may be color coordinated based on your inputted range data. This 141 is above the user's goal range, so is currently yellow. Below these pills give lots of information. The 0 MGDL tells us the glucose change from the last CGM cycle. The IOB displays the current amount of insulin on board, COB is carbs on board, CAGE and SAGE are user inputted data that you can enter into Night Scout to track if you like. CAGE is the current cannula age and SAGE is sensor age. This can be very helpful for caregivers. Finally, the basal pill is the current basal rate that is running. These data boxes are customizable and can be turned on or off through the Night Scout settings page.
This slide shows the graph section of the dashboard with annotation added for different features. The green line shows the current path of the blood glucose. The color will change when you are no longer in the goal range you have specified. The purple at the end is the prediction or forecast of blood glucose into the future. This prediction will change when you enter carbs or insulin. The forecast can be changed by pushing the tiny three dots after the hours on the left hand side. Directly under the instrument panel and the hours, there is a faint blue horizontal line across the screen. This line indicates your basal rate. If you are not looping, the basal rate will display the basal rates you have entered into Night Scout from your pump. While looping, you can see the constantly changing basal rates here. On the left side of the graph, the 31 grams listed on the top of the line was entered by loop and shows the number of carbs that were entered. Under the blood glucose line are the boluses. If you're not looping, you can manually enter the carbs and insulin directly into Night Scout using the care portal. Finally, under the clock on the left side, when you select an hour time period, this will change the view of the graph period. This slide shows that 4 hours is selected for the time period of 11.30 to 3.30. The corresponding 4 hour period is also shown at the bottom right graph. This bottom graph shows 48 hours and you can hold and slide to previous data points using your mouse on the computer or your finger on the phone app. When you do this, the data on the instrument panel will change and will show that specific moment in time. This is an incredibly important feature. Looking at this dashboard graph more closely, you'll see that you can slide to the left edge of the focus hours along the 48 hour graph. The pills will change, retro words show up as it moves to different focus points in time. You'll actually be able to see what the prediction was at the exact moment and also see what actually happened. This information right here is how we can see what loop expected to happen in regards to our settings in loop and then what actually happened. In a future video, we will dig into this area of Night Scout further and explain how we look at this data in order to improve our settings and our diabetes management. Going back to our dashboard, on the upper right, there is what we call the hamburger menu. This menu contains links to Night Scout reports, the profile editor, food editor, admin tools, and clock views. Mainly, here you will find settings, alarms that can be turned on or off, basal view options, plugins that can be turned on or off, and the save button. We will also discuss this further in a future video. Depending on how you set up your site, yours might look slightly different. You'll find the link to Night Scout customizations in the links below. When making changes on your site, you need to authenticate your device by entering your API secret in order for Night Scout to have access to the Care Portal, Profile Editor, and Admin Tools. The API secret acts as a password and was made when you first created your site. This security feature keeps unauthorized people from making changes. If the device authentication screen doesn't pop up, you can also get to it by clicking the lock once you hit the plus, or you can go down to the bottom of the hamburger menu screen and authenticate at the bottom of the hamburger menu as seen here. You also must enable the Care Portal plugin to see the lock or plus symbols. There are other parts to Night Scout we plan to cover in greater detail in follow-up videos like running reports and what they show us. There's also profiles and admin tools we will also touch on. We'll include the links to these resources below. Finally, now that you're starting to see the importance of Night Scout and how it can help in your diabetes management, you're probably wondering how you can get your own site. In the links below, we will link to the documentation on how to build and customize your own Night Scout site. Take it slow and don't let it scare you. The steps are straightforward and you can always go back and walk through the build again. Make sure you follow the steps and then ask for help if you get stuck. Be sure to take your time. Similar to building loop, one error can keep your site from working and can lead to lots of frustration. So read carefully. If it doesn't work when you finish installing, take a break and come back to it later. You can do it. I personally recommend grabbing a notebook for all of your DIY diabetes information. There can be lots of passwords, links, and handy notes and reminders. Bookmark your favorite links also on your browser. As you're setting Night Scout up, get familiar with terms like restart your dinos or update your config vars. You can write down how to do this until you are familiar. At first, it all sounds very foreign, but these are things you will need to access from time to time. Once again, you can do it. 
T1 PAL is another option if you do not want to build and maintain your Night Scout site. This is a four fee service which will create and maintain your site, manage your database, and provide a simple interface for adjusting desired options. We hope this video on Night Scout Basics was helpful to you. A PDF copy of these slides can be found on the Loop and Learn website linked below. Check out the additional links listed here and below this video. Endless thanks go out to all Night Scout contributors and the countless volunteer hours that have supported the We Are Not Weeding movement. If you like what you hear, please press the like button below and subscribe to the Loop and Learn YouTube channel to be notified when our next presentation is released. Please post any questions or comments on the Loop and Learn Facebook group. Thank you for listening.